Hi. Uh, as you know, my name's Phil Rogers. Uh, Dana Brown was on the um, on the list there. I'll be speaking for him uh, today. And today, I'd like to talk to you about uh, environmentally responsible uh, power solutions for oil and gas applications. And over my my time in the field as an instrumentation mechanic, I realized that there's there was a gap. There's a gap in the remote power space where we could move technology forward um, to essentially begin to eliminate the methane um, venting into the atmosphere. And so I learned that we need a better power supply to do that. And I found fuel cells. And so I began to work with those and investigate more about them. And I learned a number, a number of, of, of good and challenging things about them. So we decided to start this company called Enerfirm and to build that solution that's going to fit the oil and gas industry. And so with my field experience and, and talking to industry leaders and players, we discover what it needed to look like. And the environment that these fuel cells need to operate in to be reliable is, is, a, tough, is a tough space. And the fuel cells that we have available right now uh, don't meet it, don't meet that specification. And so our, our mission is to, is to build that, that fit for purpose fuel cell that's gonna fit the, the market that it needs to go into. We have some harsh conditions, plus 40 to minus 50 Celsius that we need to work work in. We need to work in Fort McMurray and in the oil sands. And that's one of the toughest environments uh, I've ever worked in. And some of the, you know, the features that that needs to have are on this slide. Um, but what we, just, what we learned is that fuel cells can't do this by themselves. That they need to have the hybrid solution and solar power and fuel cells work, I discovered, work great together. And the challenges we all know, as we heard earlier about fuel cells, is that they don't last. And that's okay because we can mitigate that by using the sun when it's available and only bringing that fuel cell into play when it's required. And bringing the, the, the reliability to these remote power sites that they need in order to provide reliable power for data, data capture, surveillance, security, air compression, chemical injection, these are, all, these are all applications that typically are run by direct methane, either burnt or vented after the pressure energy is used out of it into the atmosphere. So we believe with our power solution, we're gonna be able to help integrators and people with great ideas to give them a power source that they can use to bring those ideas through to the market and through to the industry. For example, here, the, the amount of pneumatic instrumentation is 42 million tons of CO2 every year into the atmosphere. And we think we can change that by providing more sustainable, more responsible way of delivering power. And the market is massive. Uh, there's, a, there's thousands of sites that could use this type of power solution. And 3,500 new ones every year that could also benefit. Some of the people that we're working with on the R&D side um, are really helping us fund and give us access to the, the resources we need to bring this forward and to really speed up the way that we're actually going to bring it uh, to the market. And they've all been very supportive to us, as well as our industry partners as well, that are allowing us to bring a, an already existing fuel cell technology modified to fit the industry allowing us to do pilot projects and reference projects in order to learn what it needs to look like so when we develop ours, it fits perfectly into the market. There's about 120,000 natural gas uh, locations across Western Canada, and the carbon tax 
through CNECC is not implemented yet, but uh, of the 3,500 new locations every year, um, we, we just want to keep the, the gas in the pipe and go into the consumer and not into the atmosphere. So there's a lot of work to be done in this, in this area. You know, and our, our work plan is, uh, is to raise some money to bring our already, we already have the, the, the process proven, engineered, and we need to bring it to market. We need to get it a prototype. And ACAMP, I think, is a great fit for us in that the access to the way to do the modeling and do the prototyping um, is where we're at in our, in our stage of development as well as improving the product we already have uh, in the market. Uh, CSA certification is a big hurdle in the oil and gas space and, and we, we, we're, we need support in that space as well. Our, our channel partners you know, have provided us with some with LOIs. So there's, we've learned that there is an appetite for this type of technology in the market. And if it was available and it, and it, fit, the, it fit the market, there's applications for it. And engineering companies would have another choice instead of using the thermoelectric generator, which is basically the, um, the alternative to, or the existing, the existing technology that's available now. Um, the problem with the thermoelectric generators is 2.4% efficient. It's highly reliable, but costs a lot of money in, in fuel to operate, especially in our sour gas sites there where these, these uh, thermoelectric generator or tags are running on propane. And these, ge these generators are highly reliable, but the efficiency is, there's, there's room for improvement. The fuel cell technology with hybrid uh, solar panels can bring us up to the 30, 40, even 50% range. Combustion generators don't have the autonomy. You have to go and fill the gas tank. And there's, a, there's high operational costs that can be uh, experienced with those as well. Solar panels are great, but as we learn up in Fort McMurray and places like that, it's not just snow that builds up on the panels, it's the dust in the environment that makes them inefficient. Whereas, and that's where our system plugs right into those systems and brings that 100% reliability that the industry wants. Who we are is, right now we're three founders uh, in the organization. We're also working closely with Nova 8 in the University of Alberta uh, to really bring these conceptual designs to, um, to get these engineered and then to move to the stage where we're at now, which is prototype. There's been a lot of uh, a lot of learning that has come along the way, and, and there'll be lots more to we're going to experience. Um, but our primary focus here is to bring a resp environmentally responsible choice, uh, one that we don't see exist right now. And we want to bring that uh, to foster the growth and the expertise um, in this fuel cell market in Canada, and and keep our young engineers learning these these and crafting these solutions around fuel cell technology and improving that as we move forward. And that's the end of my presentation, thank you.